Hey, Executive Tower Adam 509 Alpha X rays with you. We're holding short runway uh, 31. We're ready for departure. November 509 Alpha X ray Executive Tower, wind 290 runway 31, clear for takeoff. Okay, runway 31, clear for takeoff, 09 Alpha X ray. So, what we do in uh, a lot of the Skymaster guys fly this way too, is we will pull out on the runway, actually come to a complete stop. Advance the, I'd like to advance the rear engine to about 35 inches or so. That just lets me know that the rear engine, because you know, they've had actual Skymaster guys that have taken off and not even realized their rear engine wasn't running. I actually so, saw that happen one time. So I just, uh, it's kind of my way of making sure, okay, we got positive, everything's on the rear engine's good, and then I'll let off the brakes and roll in the front engine. Okay, here we go. Engine's alive, we got about 30 inches or so. I can turn on my noise canceling, that's really loud. <laughs> oh yeah, much better. Oh better. Alright, so let off the brakes, I'm gonna start easing in the front engine. We're looking for 38 and a half on the two together. Just a hair. Air speed's alive. We're going through 70 knots. Going through 78. We're looking for about uh, 97th where I like to be. But it'll come off the ground a lot better at that airspeed. Alright, positive rate gear is coming up. And tower 09 Alpha X ray would like to depart to the uh, southeast. I forgot to warn you, that's really loud. <laughs> I'm sorry, say that again, Tower. November 9 Alpha X-ray, right turn to the southeast, approved. Okay, right turn to the southeast, 09 Alpha X-ray. Yeah, when we put the new avionics in, they don't quite have that audible uh, setup. <laughs> <laughs> It'll wake you up. Yeah, it's like, uh, what's going on here? All right, so... I'll work the power back to about 35 inches.
I'm going to level out at 2,000 here. Get us out of their airspace. Chopper 5, Executive Altimeter 29 29er, 89er, uh, just off of Love, I'd like to get a transition uh, over to Duncanville for a seat. Well, what do you think? This is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> this is so cool, man. Approved, chopper five. Just to shoot the walk around is, uh, is really something. Like I said, we've been trying to get together for that for a couple of years, but to be able to do this and fly, I can't thank you enough, man. This is awesome. Oh, no problem. My pleasure. Fit Tower, uh, Tower 5, looks like our sea is going to be uh, about two miles to the uh, southwest of the field. It'll be kind of near over 20. If it's as bumpy as it was when we came over your right, this is a smooth airplane. Because <laughs> we were getting bounced around pretty good. Yeah, it's something about this design. There it is again. Sorry about that. No, it's all good. I'm sure to turn the altitude way up. Once you know about it, it's not bad. Yeah. I forgot to warn y'all when I take it off. It's like, brrrr. <laughs> What's the G rating of this airplane? It's being composite. Normally those are really, really tough. Yeah, I think it's six, but I'd have to double check that. I don't I don't remember. Definitely will have to mean the... It's, a, it's just a brick. I mean, it, really? it's just built like... They way overbuilt it. Really? Kind of like the Starship. I think it's With one of those eight. things, if they needed six layers of carbon, they made them put 12. Yeah. You know. Starship, same thing, because the FAA was scared to certify it, you know, yeah. it's new. Carbon thing, same, same with this, you know, so. Now they're a little bit, I mean, there's so many Cirruses and stuff flying now that they're, you know, they're, I think they're probably lax a lot than they were. If you remember when Cirruses first came out, they're all white. Uh -huh, they were yeah. worried about heat with the carbon. Yeah. And it wasn't until later that they did, that they discovered that, oh, it's not that as big of a deal, you know? So now they're all painted all different kind of really cool colors. Yeah, and a lot of that came, I think, from the philosophy with, uh, like, the Defiant. It's built with the blue foam overlay, with the fiberglass overlay blue foam. Gotcha. So yep. anything other than white would actually delaminate. So oh, I'm sure wow. a lot of that mindset came from, the, you know, that. Probably so, yeah. You're probably right, yeah. This is a cool looking wing, you know? Yeah, I love the wing. They were all those guys were all, oh, that wing's so ugly. I'm like, man, I love the wing. I think it was cool. Whiskey tower information, Papa. 1850 Zulu, wind 25012, gust 17, visibility 10, sky oh, okay. condition ceiling 4000 broken. Oh, okay. Temperature 22, 2.11, altimeter 29 or 9 Visual approach from my 18 news. Be advised on the initial contact, you have Papa. Nice crosswind over there. Whiskey tower information, Papa. 1850 Zulu, wind 25012, gust 17. Yeah, decent sign. Mesquite Tower, Adam, 509 Alpha X-ray, we're with you, we're about nine and a half miles uh, east, or uh, west-southwest of the field inbound information. That's calling Mesquite Tower, can you say again your call sign? Yeah, it's Adam, 509 Alpha X-ray. Adam, 509 Alpha X-ray, Mesquite Tower. Roger, report five miles west of the field. Okay, we'll call five miles west of the field for uh, 509 Alpha X-ray. You want to fly? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks. There you go. Got it. It's all you. All right. We're at about 2,200 feet right now, so we could actually go down a little bit if you want. Boy, the ergonomics of the side stick is just so comfortable. It is, isn't it? It's so nice. So the airport's right here, so we need to go to the left just a little bit. They'll probably put us on a right down line. That's usually what they do over here. Okay. Bottle us back just a little bit. Us at about 31 for now. This has always been an easy airport to find, especially now they got the, all those warehouses there. It makes it really easy. That's my old stomach grounds. Is it? Yeah, I did a lot of growing up, a lot, a lot of flying with T6 guys out there. 
in the 90s. Adam, Niner Alpha X-ray, uh, correction on our part, enter a right downwind for runway 18, report crossing Highway 20. Okay, we are uh, crossing 20 for the right downwind for uh, 09 Alpha X-ray. Yeah, I flight instructed out of this airport from 97 to 2000. Oh, really? I've uh, pretty much been at this airport since 97. I've only recently been to uh, Redbird since we bought this airplane because they didn't have any hangars that would support this. All right, so we can descend down to 1,500 feet. I'm going to pull the throttles back. X-ray, report right midfield down. Okay, we'll call midfield right downwind for uh, 09 Alpha X-ray. Pull the uh, manifold back to about 20 inches. Could we do a touch and go and then a full stop and then Brian and I switch? Yeah. Uh, I yeah. Think it's, he's not expecting that. I think he would love it. <laughs> yeah, we can. We can do a full stop taxi back. Oh, that'd be great. November 8, Mike Alpha, same position. We're just about to go into downwind right now. Uh, I'd be like the departure of the road. They don't. Uh, a lot of times they're not used to how fast this airplane is, so yeah. I find myself... I'm, I'm trying to stay ahead of it now. 9 Alpha X-ray, runway 18, clear to land. Okay, runway, uh, runway 18, clear to land, 09 Alpha X-ray, and we'd like a touch and go with Abel. Adam, 9 Alpha X-ray, roger, runway 18, clear, touch and go. Okay, clear, touch and go, 09 Alpha X-ray. Oh, All right, so pitch the nose back just a little bit. Mid right down one right now. Traffic's in sight, hit my alpha. All right, a little bit more on the nose pitch. I'm just trying to get below that 147. And you'll feel a lot of nose pressure when I put the flaps in. Yep. So that's pretty good drag. And we go ahead and start turning. Number eight, Mike Alpha, Roger, runway 18, clear to land, number two. Runway 18, clear to land, number two, eight, Mike Alpha. Airspeed looks good, power settings are good. Usually you could do about 20 inches of manifold pressure on downwind and it'll just kind of hold all the speeds we want. And then the gear and flaps will kind of take care of itself. Looks good, maybe a little bit high. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of the flaps in. All right, now we're shot. I'm gonna go ahead and add some, take some power out. All right, whenever you're ready, I'll take the airplane. Your airplane. See if I can. That was fun, man. <laughs> the, the, the beauty of this airplane is once you got flaps, you can literally just shove the nose over. Wow. And it won't, it won't build airspeed. Really? Yeah. So, so that drag you out. Wow. Yeah. Get this power out. We're a little bit hot here. God, this thing is smooth right now, though. All right, gears down and lock, flaps are full, props are coming forward. Uh, that crosswind in there a little bit. All right, flaps are coming to half, power is coming up. Let the nose settle down. And we're still doing like 80, so. Wow. And we can rotate. Flap our uh, gears coming up. And uh, zero 09 Alpha X-ray, we'd like to stay in the pattern for a full stop taxi back. Adam, 09 Alpha X-ray, Roger, make left close traffic. All right, left close traffic, thank you, 09 Alpha X-ray. Okay, props back. Brian, can you hear us? Ah, that's cool, he has no idea he's gonna come. <laughs> 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 that's gonna be awesome. So the flap's coming out. I totally get that you're a CFI now. The way that you teach in the strike is just, you've got such a natural, it's so comfortable for you. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. 
I really enjoyed teaching. I just could never make decent money at it. Right. Now I get to make decent money and own some toys and stuff. <laughs> that's, that's a good trade-off, yeah. Yeah, instead of flying everybody else's stuff. <laughs> Yeah, them winds up here are pretty, pretty good. Yeah, they are. Skyhawk 8, Mike Alpha is able. We were surprised how bumpy it was. Especially so early, you know? Yeah. Good day. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and pull back to 20 inches on the downwind. Adam Niner, Alpha X ray, runway 18, cleared to land. Hey, runway 18, cleared to land, 09 Alpha X ray, thanks. high again, so go ahead and drop the gear. And we got three green. It's pretty benign when that comes out. It doesn't feel like it. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. have that butter. Yeah. Like, I fly in a, uh, is it a Malibu? And that nose gear like far and then it slams in. Oh, wow. Wind check, please. He's asleep. Adam Niner, Alpha X ray, wind 270 at 12, gust to 17. Hi, right, thanks. Direct cross wind. speeds and numbers that you're kind of always looking for right now. So right now 130 is fine. When I come around the final I want to start slowing up below 115 which usually when I put my full flaps in that'll get me there. Uh, 115 pretty much down final until I'm about I don't know half mile final or so and then I'll just start easing the power back and I'm looking for you know 100, 105 knots or so. Uh, but as you can see right here, it, it uh, slowed us down below 120. Oh wow, yep. So, that's a pretty good crosswind there. Alright, gear's down a lot, flaps are full, forearms are coming forward. Yeah, we can actually just put this thing at idle right here. Just put the flaps in approach since we're going to do a full stop. Yeah, that is directly across the Man, runway. Man, I'd say what? <laughs> Between the airplane, the trailing link, and your skill, yeah, that was. <laughs> exit right, your discretion, tax back to runway 18, yeah, Alpha Bravo. Okay, we'll make a right here turn and take Echo, and then we'll go Alpha back to 18 for 09, Alpha X ray. 